Good morning, folks. How are you doing? Welcome to Bikepacking Adventures with me, Richard. It is February, February the 24th, it's a Saturday morning, and winter is back. Frosty mornings, misty mornings. Anyway, on today's ride, it's going to be the another 200 kilometre ride. It's the third one in the row. Today, I'm riding down to Rutland Water, and I've brought along with me the gravel bike, which is back from the bike shop, having a bit of work carried out by Martin at Velo Sport in Cleethorpes. Got some new bar tape up front here. It's really snazzy bar tape, really little design. And the biggest expense was replacing uh, the cabling and, well, bit of work up front really. The braking system was completely knackered, so it's all been taken out. It's gonna be a good one today. The weather's looking fantastic. This is meant to be the odd shower. You know, I'll be unlucky if I catch a shower today, basically. Join me 35K into the ride. It's near Grayleys. And do you know what? I recognise this from a Paul Green video. His last one I was joking about uh, sleeping in there. Uh, tell you, Paul, if, if you're watching, just come down there. What a mud bath. If I'd come through there again, it would have to be in the summer. Just absolutely caked in mud. So I'm just about to uh, fold my overshoes back over, which are knackered anyway. There's only a couple sections like this on this ride, so I'm glad I've got the, at least the first one out of the way with. So I'm heading towards, uh, well, I'm going to go straight over there now. First off, if I do decide to stop there, is at uh, Corby Glen. Later on, uh, why am I in a windmill again? Just haven't decided which place I'm going to stop at. Last time I was out this way, I stopped at Wymanham, so I may well stop at March, March here for some breakfast. Love was holding all the cards always kept me in the dark I never thought I could shake I wanted to talk to you today about the destination of today's ride but first, before I talk about that talk about what it could have been now, I planned two routes one was a 300 kilometre from Cleethorpes, Nottinghamshire, perhaps dipping into Derbyshire just loads of uh, trails, little bits of off-road, things like that. It's not the time that puts me off, the length of the days, or even the weather. It's just the state of the trails. This year, in particular, decided to uh, go for something a little more roady. Most of the off-road bit is a family-friendly trail around Rutland Water to do both the outer and the inner circle. Before then though, got some quiet lanes as I make my way to the, uh, the march here in Corby Glen. Yeah, on my new proof factory digger or digger factory, I can't remember which way it is. <laughs> I'm guessing you won't be able to get hold of these soon. What with the uh, collapse of wiggle imminent. It's been a very good bike, very de dependable, very uh, good entry level gravel bike, I guess you'd call it that. Very satisfied. What also satisfies me today is the weather. Look at it. It's absolutely stunning today. Nearly forgot what, this, what it looked like up there. The uh, one thing I do hate about stopping, I'm, and I'm sure you do this time of year, is then you go inside, get warm, and you come back out again, you're like, bloody hell, it's freezing. And it takes you a little while to get warmed up again. That's when uh, having something like a handlebar bag with a jacket of some kind comes in useful. Or, or maybe you can fit a jacket elsewhere on the bike, but I find the handlebar bag is, ever since I bought this last year, and it's only a cheapo one from Amazon. Absolutely brilliant, absolutely brilliant. Okay, they not may, may not look very aesthetically pleasing to the eye, but very, very functional. 
So I've reached Corby Glen, been in and out, which is now called Hattie's Tea Room. Had a nice bit of breakfast and a cup of tea. Um, well fed and uh, ready to go again. Spent spent, uh, spent her breakfast talking with another group of uh, riders, so it was good just to uh, kill a little bit of time. Of course, I'm in the inevitable going outside again now, and it's uh, trying to get warmed up again. So the idea from here is to head towards Rutland Water, go around the lake there, and uh, come back north again. Life is good, life is good, yeah. Life is good, life is good. Way past Rutland Water. I'm nursing a slow front tyre. I'm hoping it just needs some air, more air in. Let's find out. Not too far away now. The uh, path is pretty knackered. <laughs> Looking at the uh, sandy path below me <laughs> makes me think about this big event that I'm going on at the end of March, the Grand Guananche. It's a 700 kilometer gravel race race stroke adventure experience thing throughout the Canary Islands linking five islands by ferry and bicycle starting in Lanzarote and then on to Third Ventura Grand Canaria followed by Tenerife and El Hirio where the race ends and then back to Tenerife for me for the hotel for about four days and have a nice holiday maybe there's some bathing more likely more riding <laughs> I'm not sure I can recommend coming here with a gravel bike at the moment I didn't realise it's going to be this bad I hope it ends soon. At some point, I'm going to be here at the bottom of this road. There's a bench at the bottom and a beach. Let's call it a beach. I'm going to be on a nice hot summer's day. I've not done much recording today. Get headed down and just been getting on. Just on the outskirts of Oakham. About to go past that prison. I don't know what it is. There's the prison. It says Enterprise Park, but it looks like a bloody prison. Maybe it used to be a prison. 
if you know, you know what to do. Stick your answers down in the comments below. Did that used to be a prison? Anyway, back to the important business of this ride. How far I've got to go. Let's have a look. 88 kilometers. And it's 20 to 4. So probably going to be riding a couple of hours in the dark as opposed to uh, one which I kind of thought it would take. Coming up to the uh, highest point in this ride near Buckminster. Here we are, coming up to the uh, highest point of this ride, 130 odd metres. Maybe not to, uh, maybe it doesn't go very high, but it's been plenty of elevation gain throughout this ride as a whole. Really enjoyed it, it's been a good route. If you enjoyed watching this video and you fancy riding little bits of this yourself here in Rutland, uh, there's a link down below to the route like there is an pretty much all of my most recent videos go check it out a good thing about uh, finally reaching the top of this is that it's all gradual downhill back to where part of the sticks walled he says looking down at the screen and noticing another hill after this one it's always the same, isn't it? Just one more hill, and it's never the last one. But so remember, I'll take this opportunity to flash up the number of Ordex points that I've got this season so far. My mission <laughs> that I've chosen to accept is trying to get 100 points in the 23, well, 24, 25 season. So wish me luck. All right, time's moving on, 20 to five. 6 6 uh, k to go and i've just seen the dreaded road closure sign so i'm hoping it doesn't affect me and uh, i'm already having to make changes on the way back on that crappy dirt track i didn't show you through fields and mud and everything because it was a mud fest i'm trying to navigate way, way around that as well so i might be finishing later much later than expected Hopefully not, hopefully I've got an idea I can get around. If I see going coming back up again as well. Yeah. Right, this is where I am, bursting the coggles. Right, I'm stopping to actually just to put a snood on because it's getting, getting decidedly chilly now, so. Oh. Yeah. Usually you can finish a ride and not have to stop and put one on, but I mean, it's bloody cold. Oh. It's coming up to about quarter to five now, so it's less than an hour. And I'll be in total darkness. Oh. Get the buddy fox glasses on. I've actually just ordered some more glasses uh, for the Grand Guananchi next month. I've left them in the box. I don't want to break them because I'm always breaking sunglasses. Um, they're not expensive ones. I don't. I try and buy. You know, I try and stay away from expensive stuff if I possibly can. So these ones are from uh, Rocks Brothers. Uh, rocks, rocks, Rock Brothers. Usually uh, quite affordable and good quality. So. Uh, yeah, you'll see, you see me wearing those in a few weeks' time. Right, gloves on, let's get going again. I know the very cliche. Sunset, sunrise on video, and it never is as good as real life, is it? It is beautiful though, and it's already cold. Um, I'll be putting my fleecy blue top back on again.
just just past nearly 100 miles uh, 100 miles is pretty much 160.5 probably can't see me too good but yeah getting towards the end of the ride now i thought i'd uh, say goodbyes and let's give you an update of what's going on so i managed to get around my diver diversion didn't take me too much out of the way so that's the uh, <laughs> won't keep still basically it's a road which jumps over the main a15 uh, to this bridleway here through a gated road and uh yeah, luckily for me, um, I went through a little village called Greylees. Didn't have to do much very long on the main road at all. And uh, just hopped across and uh, I'm on my way, merry way. As you can see, there's no doubt. Beautiful moon there. Okay, again. again, it doesn't come up too good on camera. Anyway, I'm going to end the video here. Comments, questions, stick them down below. Looks like I have another 200 kilometer ride in the bag. I shall see you in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.